Huge tour announcement calling on all the army of garbage. We just added a bunch of dates to the state trash mm-hmm. door for the fall and for the winter. Stand-up comedy show, plus we play a little AYG with the crowd. Great way to introduce new people to the show. Come out and see the boys. Yeah, gang, all tickets are available at our website, rugarbage.com. Uh, we're coming to Phoenix, Denver, Salt Lake City, Los Angeles, San Diego, Washington, D.C., Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Toronto, Pontiac, Michigan, Chicago, Minneapolis, Madison, Milwaukee, Sacramento, San Francisco, San Jose, and then we're ending it in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, baby. Get those tickets. Let's party. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Hey. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they're good to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. She was just stocking up the garage grids with freeze pops. Okay. Telling me I look like I work at Best Buy. <laughs> hey, shout out to the Geek Squad, huh? <laughs> Couple of zingers coming my way. She can be a cruel lady when she wants to be. Sure. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. This is a family episode. Just the bozos, the homies, and the boys. That's what we do. Just the way we like it sometimes. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan, everybody. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning hey, in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Trudor up. Cooking. And obviously, the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com. Slash are you garbage, Woo! gang? You sign up Woo! over there. We're almost at 10,000 patrons, baby. Yeah. Keeping me in those. Olympic. Woo-wee. It's goddamn fucking homieville over there, baby. <laughs> $10 homies all around. Check it out, gang. Get a shit ton of bonus content. The indie video's up there. Oh, my goodness. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire. Speaking of the indie video, the brain's behind the operation. He's the magic man. Uh-huh. Makes us all look good. Looks real good in one of them uh, racing suits, too, I'll tell you that. Sure. Give it up for T-Bone McScroffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, boys? Hey, what pal. Up? I'm going straight one piece from here on out, I dude. told it's, it's the only article of clothing that looks good on me, I think. I wouldn't good. make funny as much. I'd treat you with a little more respect if you were walking around cool guy and with that thing. I get it. Plus, I can light you on fire and you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just fall through the table. <laughs> oh, dude, you have a lot of fun fireworks, those things. Yeah. Dude, uh, and also shout out to new guy Luke with the angles all over that indie video. Sure. Crushing it. Sure. Sure. Good kid. Like mm-hmm. Luke. Good kid. But not cool like you. I'll tell you that right now. In that in that jumper, you could just wear those. You know that, right? No, he can. No one can just. First of all, they're about fucking three hundred degrees in them things. <laughs> no one can just wear them. All right. No, but just the regular ones, like the ones like if you were working at a garage, like a Michael Myers. Yeah. Sure. That, I mean, Michael Myers. Yeah, no, that ain't great. He's kind of talk hot. about creeping out the girls at the party. <laughs> <laughs> hey, will your, will your serial killer friend stop staring at me? <laughs> Why does he keep wanting to go hang out at the lake? What's this guy's deal? <laughs> He won't shut up about the train tracks. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, we get it. She was your babysitter. All right? Get over it. She don't like you no more. Hey, Blair Witch, zip it, will you? John, trying to get laid over here, dude. Why don't you go do a lap or something? This guy talking about his mommy issues on Halloween. <laughs> She's dead, man. Get over it. Have a Clark bar, dude. It's all good. Uh, I got a... Uh... I got something I want to get into. I was just down there with the family this weekend. Oh, yeah? I was down there with the boys hanging out. Brother did a nice barbecue. He did, huh? Nice. He's got that sweet spot down he's there. Got a, he's got his Tony Soprano backyard. It's fantastic. Got the pool, the hardscape, the this, the that. Is it a coincidence that both of our brothers are better than us? <laughs> yeah, that's why we met up. Okay. To plot their demise. <laughs> to take them down from the I just want to get a little piece. What are you talking <laughs> just about? Just want a hamburger. What are we doing? <laughs> Couple of dogs for the boys. If I could move in with them, if they if they had enough room, my brother, oh, sure. <laughs> what 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 kind of fantasy camp are you in? I would love that. No, not move your... in with un- just a successful guy. No, my brother. If I could if I could move in with them and the fam, I'd be okay with that. Oh, Have that a little would... room up there. <sighs> that wouldn't end well. No, of course not. We already tried that <laughs> yeah, in the early two thousand. You tried it and you didn't pay rent. <laughs> 
Uh, no, it was nice. It's good. The burbs are nice. Big fan of the burbs. As burbs I get right. older, slow down. A couple of heaters out back, whatever. Mm-hmm. Had all the kids over. A bunch of my... Th- I, this is what I wanted to talk about. I realize, obviously, after doing this show and then spending time, so much time with my family, like, this has made me reevaluate how I look at my upbringing and my family. And how everything. trashy you exactly were. And are. Yes. And the, my family. Yes, exactly. Sure. Just, you know, even if they're, you it know. It doesn't go away. No. It was just the 80s and the 90s. It was like this fog that you couldn't really see through. Because yeah. you didn't really know what other people what were, were doing. doing. There was no no internet back then. Yeah. Shout out to Al Gore. Um, yeah. So we're there. We're all hanging out, right? Pops or everything's hanging. It's good. And Good coolers. What do you got? Yetis? Doing Yetis down there? Nah, he's got the fridge. He's got the what? The fridge outside? Got an outside fridge. Wait, what do you mean? I don't know how else to explain really? it. Really? <laughs> yeah. Not a, you don't you don't got to go. So into you the... didn't need any backup information on that. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't have to walk down the things and go into the garage and get one. It's right there. Got a fridge outside. Really? Stuff to the brim. Really? To the brim. You open it. There's Coors Lights falling out. It's like a goddamn <laughs> treasure chest for an alcoholic. <laughs> get off me, high noons. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so we're there hanging out you know it's a it's a whole thing and so w- one of my cousins shows up he was just at a soccer game he's drunk a- <laughs> he was coaching <laughs> he, he's at a something he's at a game right so like now everybody starts coming together can i say this i don't mean to interject sure that's the uh, show um say something uh, all, all I can speak from is the the greater Philadelphia suburban area, because that's all I really know. But that was nine different accents. In there. <laughs> Hello, yarmy suburbs. <laughs> hey, down here, Philly, mate. <laughs> um, man, I've been speaking of which, there was an interview with Rod Stewart. He's got something going on. That guy is a treasure trove of fucking. Just awesomeness. Yeah. I could sit and listen to him talk for days. Mm-hmm. Hey, we bought the house, man. He's, he's all a, right. He's a dirty football player, too, by the way. <laughs> Shout out to my cousin, Kevin. He came in cleats up on him. Thought it was a fucking friendly. Anyway. Yeah. The soccer, <laughs> lacrosse, field hockey, uh, youth leagues that they got down there have really Oh, it's exploded. on steroids. It's private this, club that. I mean, over this. by my mom, they have these I series. used to play soccer on a fucking baseball field. Yeah, and now it's like they got bleachers, there's an owner's box. It's like, what the fuck are we doing here? Yeah, I'm out there like the fucking Raiders <laughs> in fucking 75. Man, I, did, I remember being a little kid and seeing that and being like, what the fuck Trying is up? Trying to catch with- a punt in the shadow. I'm like, what is up with this team, man? You can't, oh, get, dude. You can't get your own Spot? Shit was. You get a co-signer or something. Shit was brutal. Talk about staying at your brother's place. You know, how, <laughs> you know how bad it is for your knees to go from astroturf to fucking dirt in two steps. I remember being a kid watching that, being like, "What in the fuck? This ain't. For, this is." Crazy. I can't remember what the, what the deal a, was. This is like the longest yard, dude. The Raiders played. I guess it would have been at uh, at the A's. No, at, no. Oh, yeah, I it guess so. the, Was it the Oakland? I'm guessing. I was fucking f- two when this was happening. I was thinking Candlestick. No, isn't that San Francisco? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Oakland, San Francisco, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, But, so they... Roll- anyway, they got a big operation down there. Yeah, it's it's a thing. And, the you know, uh, so they come in, and one of the one of the little kids uh, got, in a, got in a fist fight. Really? Got in a fist fight with two or three other kids ran up on him. What during the game? I think it was after. I, you know, it was after the game. And I think it was. Holy shit! Yeah, and he fucking pieced him up, too mm-hmm. sweet. He comes from good stock. This, this is so- he's a soccer player. This is soccer. I, soccer I, kids going after each other after the game. You got you they, they're usually no, flopping. No, but it, this is this is what I'm realizing. They're all floppers, right? No, it's like, no the first the first group. It's Philly dirtbag and then soccer player. So at the end of the day, gotcha. They're still ready to throw some fisticuffs. Gotcha. Now, this kid's six, six, something young, little kid, little mm. kid comes in and piece apparently piece these two tree kids up. Really? Too sweet. Yeah. What, he, they jumped them by the cars. Apparently, and he's got he's got good genes. This kid comes huh. from a comes from a big guy. Huh. So fucking. You know, hit him with the fucking, you know, the the the, the old fucking one two sewing. Really? Care. Anybody see any? Uh, any yeah. Any his rep- dad saw. Yeah, but 
<laughs> fucking got some in there. Any, the fuck out of here. Any heat? Or any 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 <laughs> no, any uh, what, what they're, ramifications? They're currently on the lamb in another school district. That's what I'm saying. Did no, no, say? no, no. And then the the, the, the kids because pa- they can get real prissy about that shit. No, so the, the kids leagues. the kids parents can uh, they like they they were in the wrong for sure. Okay, the, the kids, you know. Uh, but I think he's a bigger kid, so they were like, let's try to get him or whatever, and. Hmm. They didn't, you know, so the, so went the, south for the boys. The other kids' parents were like, oh, hey, sorry I about think, that. I, I think I don't have See, all... that's nice. Hey, sorry, my kids try to jump yours. <laughs> but that's nice. When but the, he said we go get a hot dog. When the parents start acting like idiots, then then, it, then it's a bad scene. That's not completely disqualified from my family either. But, really? Yeah. Well, you don't have to get in. We don't have to, we don't have to get into two treat things, but we're moving. Talking about the kids. <laughs> but they came in and... Hey, my my cousin told the story. He's like, oh, you know, so and so got in a fight, and it was like that scene from Goodfellas that he popped his cherry. All the uncles were like, "Yeah, you fuck him up." I'm like, "God damn, dude, we are some fucking dirtbag." <laughs> Normally, it'd be like, "Hey, don't violence isn't the answer. Don't hit him." They were like, Did "You fucking got him, dude. What happened?" Give him a, give him a sippy cup of Coors Light <laughs> oh, and, and a medium rare burger. <laughs> I was like, "Gotta have your steak rare now." I was sitting there. I'm like, this kid, this is crazy. But then I started thinking, I'm like, that's how we were raised. It was like, you know. Probably kept your mouth shut, didn't you? You don't want to <laughs> fucking tuning you up, huh? Straightening you out. But it's just like, I was like, fucking holy New shit. York softy over here. Oh, you popped your cherry. They were like carrying him around. He was the bell of the ball after they found out he fucking, you know. Sure. He gave someone the two piece. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. Shout out to it, baby. A couple of kids laying next to an old Corvette. <laughs> all, all lumped up. <laughs> Here, hide this gun. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was in trouble at that point, but I couldn't look away. He's got a chick with him. <laughs> hey, this is Karen, by the way. Uh, yeah, it was just a really big look into the psyche of my family, and I was just like, "Damn!" And it made me feel nice because that's who we all. I thought you were gonna say you got put store bought potato salad. Or something <laughs> like that. No, we we have a we have Acts an ele- of violence. <laughs> we have an elementary school fight club going on. If you want to get your nephews in, how was the grub? Grub was good. He Who's threw- working that grill? He did. Because it is summer. It is it is grilling season. Yeah, no, he did. He's got the the Blackstone, the big uh, mm. the big John, big really? boy. Yeah, he's got a great fucking setup. Does he have a it. griddle too? A flat top on that thing? I think it's a whole flat top. Really? Yeah. So everything was done on the flat top. I think. Really? Yeah. That's what they're doing these days. It's like that's yeah. my dream. Dude. I know you're a Smash Burger kid. Oh, and the breakfast you can whip up on those things, man. Those yeah. things are unparalleled. Making dude. omelet the size of your head. What oh, are you talking man. about? I used to love watching them at college. Uh, our cafeteria they had a huge flat top, and you could watch. And you real lady killer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go see you make eggs? I mean, you've never seen hash browns so crispy, I tell you. <laughs> if we get there early, you can watch them flip the burgers. <laughs> no. Man, between that and your engineering frat. They, uh, <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> shout out to Theta Kai. <laughs> no, they would, they, they had a big flat top, and that was the first time I saw them all, like, spread out and folded up real nice. Pretty cool. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have to say this, summertime grilling, that flat top shit, get, come on. It's that, all about the open flame. I don't disagree. I mean, sure. I guess if you want to. That's not grilling. That's griddling. <laughs> That's like you're working at some greasy spoon on the highway. I mean, this fucking guy. You need like a Traeger or something like that. Or a grill. You need both. Sure, you need both. Hey, I think he's got a grill. I just think for this. He has to. Yeah, of course. I think the size of it. I mean, there was 40 people there. Okay. So it's like that griddle, it's a big so He's thing. got orders coming in. It's, yeah, he's fucking jammed up. Talk <laughs> about the, in the weeds. The rush. <laughs> 86 to cheese dogs. <laughs> really? No, nah, no cheese dogs. You uh, don't see them that much anymore. No, nah, unless, not unless you're at Denise's house. Does she still get she, them? She knows She knows the weight of my heart. The Oscar Lord, Mayer. Come on. The original. On some potato roll. If I'm coming down, yeah, huh. she'll know. She gets yeah, them. you don't really see them on the uh, on the grill. Nah, that's a microwave. Ever. That's a you're eating those by yourself. I feel. However, they don't grill right. There is a company. Like, a, it turns chemically. There's chemically. An, there's an operation out of um, I want to say Wisconsin. Can you give me a Google on this? Usingers. Usingers. I want to say it's Wisconsin. Okay, and what about it? They do. They ship all over the country. I think. 
And my old man, according to my research, <laughs> my old man had them uh, had them send them a little something one summer. And one of the things they sent were these with these uh, cheese hot dogs, like like real good cheese hot dogs. <sighs> man, you singers famous sausage, dude. Yeah. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Shout out Wisconsin. To you are a fucking a pork byproduct savant. That's crazy. You just nailed that. <laughs> Have you ever been to Milwaukee? No. How about you just know the spot? Yeah. Know the spot. Fucking eyeing up that box. <laughs> like we're like you're reading the back of a fucking cereal box when you're eating. I'm doing a maze. <laughs> ah, but poor poor <laughs> snout. Oof. Delicious. Yeah. So yeah, we should bring that back. What? The cheese dog. Should be more pre- prevalent in, in the adult grilling genre. How about that? Does that make sense? This summer, we could do it. We could turn it around. <laughs> yeah, you act like we could. You're trying to start a slow clap for cheese dogs. You know what? Dogs. I'm going home this weekend. Cheese dogs on the grill. That's it. I don't even have to have one. But you're going to. I might. <laughs> take, a, take, a, take a game. Take a walk around, will you? <laughs> okay, can I, can I say something that might be controversial? <laughs> Go ahead, T-Bone. Cheese dog, cheese in the dog. Fantastic. But but any sort of melted cheese on the hot dog. Nah. Not great. Yeah, except I'm well documented on this program. The Texas Tommy from high school, sure, was was unbelievable. I, I listen. Which I don't know if you did them. I love a deli, not the craft single. I love a deli slice piece of fucking white American cheese on a diesel. Underneath it, now they like you like cut it and like you you break it in half and put it. It's it's not all the time. It's not my go to, but it's fucking. It's all right. A little dab will do you. Not a hot dog talk on this show. I'll tell you yeah, that. we're two fat fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> and Italian famous sausage. Don't you forget that. Shout <laughs> out not, to the brats. We're, we're not just dog guys, too. Speaking of which, Patty did get some uh, some little sausages. I want to say uh, Via Veneta, someplace down there, uh, East Norton. Oh, man. Woo-wee. I don't even need the coffee. I'm saying snap. Wake you up. <laughs> Hear that snap from across the river. God damn. It's not like a tree breaking. Uh, Good stuff. Yeah. But all the hot dog, hot dog talk aside, gang, yes. we got a goddamn We got fam business ep. to do here. It's a goddamn broadcast. It's a program. We got garbage to get into, baby. It's a family app. So when you sign up for Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. And like we've said one, two, three million times, that's the greatest website of all time. We got more content on that goddamn website than you will believe. It's true. Blow your fucking hair back when you get on there. Knock your compression socks off over there. <laughs> um. All right. Let's see here. This is from my wife's boyfriend. Is it garbage to get a rental car as a gift? My mom always wanted a convertible, so one year my dad rented one for her birthday. Oh, Man, oh, talk oh, about oh, fucking. You'd have to really gingerly approach that. Now, listen, there's something outside for you, but it's going back Monday, and you got to make sure the tank filled up. <laughs> we got to cover the tolls. Which, by the way, I, I like that flex that, that you do on the road with uh, – with with the rental car, you What's pay that? you pay the thing up front where you don't got to fill the tank up. That's because fuck them. Yeah, but you're paying you're prepaying the gas. That's it's in their best interest. But the problem is, I'm a forgetful Frank. You always yeah, dude. You always forget. Then you're worried about it. Is it going to be a little bit under? That's why I'm buying peace of mind. I'm just buying yeah. Fuck. And then when I do realize, I'm like, oh, we got to get to the airport in the morning, and we're like. You know, we're scraping the, we're running on fumes. Sure. I'll go throw five, six bucks in there just to get me there. And then you return and really jam them yeah. up. Yeah. Hey, buddy, you have to throw this thing in neutral coming out of the garage. <laughs> Good luck figuring that but out. But that's tough, too, because I think as a gift, if you have a rental car, I, I mean, a convertible, that's just such a generic thing. It'd be one thing if you're like, I rented you a 1955 Chevy T top, what at, like something exotic and like a classic car. But just to, you're just going to get like that's a got Volvo. Real Sebring vibes. Sure, that's what I'm saying. They they don't you know they don't have Maybox and shit you can rent. They're those apps that have all oh, those crazy shit, yeah. cars. I don't dude. think that's I don't think this guy was doing that. Yeah, no. And it's also you have to have a destination. And this I, was something with cigarette burns in it. <laughs> they were here sure. when I got them. For sure. I think you should have, this shouldn't be the gift. Hey, get in, we'll ride around town. It should be, I'm taking it to your, your favorite dinner, and then you walk out and you're like, hop in a convertible. Oh, that's tux. nice. You got to go somewhere. It yeah. can't just be cruise around. Now get to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs>
feel that feel that wind in your hair and grab some cheese dogs for the boys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Happy birthday. You're ready to watch me drive. <laughs> I know you said you wanted to go to Home Depot, so yeah. uh, here you go. <laughs> You're not an authorized driver. You got to be in the passenger seat. It's pretty trashy, the... Um, the the fascination with the convertible itself, I think. I, I don't think. Know, when that, was the last time you were in one? Uh, I was in had one. A head of hair like that. You should be. You should be whipping work, Daddy. <laughs> are you talk. You should take the Fly windshield me off. To the, uh, I was in one in um in Hawaii when we were over there. Mm-hmm. Uh actually, what am I talking about? I did a pretty trashy thing. I rented a BMW convertible. Was whipping around in that thing. Over there. Could not fit in this car. <laughs> it was a fucking project every time. And once I got in there, I was in there. There was no popping out for anything. Dude, it was fucking brutal. <laughs> you have to take the steering wheel off like it's a race car. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it sucked. But when you're, but that's a little bit different. You're on the H three out there, fucking heading over to the fucking other side of the island. The wind's whipping through your hair. I get it. But there is an over, um, I don't know. It, sure, it's yeah. Now I they're like not a, that great. Nah, that wait. You're also crammed in one. You're not comfy. You're not. You're not fucking sitting pretty. Also, too, when the ho- when the things. Not down. You, you feel like you're 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 driving around in a baseball hat. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a cigarette boat when you're yeah, in there. It's no good. It's, 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 it's yeah. like a tent, dude. Yeah, it's a low hanging. Yeah, and yeah. the back and the back windshield is not glass. It's like plastic. What are people making attempts at your life? Were you worried about a <laughs> fucking sharpshooter fucking taking you out? Uh, yeah. I mean, I I don't know. I whoa. I didn't know you did that. That's crazy. That's real. That's like fucking. It was That's the like same. SoundCloud rapper shit, renting a cool car to look cool in. I didn't film a video. <laughs> you, you got a drone above it. I got the bird on the hood. <laughs> Spread it out. What's up, y'all? I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know how we living. <laughs> yeah, but let's talk about that Indochino, baby. Indochino. Wedding season is upon us. You ain't lying. Weddings. I, got, I got one next week. Weddings can be fun, mm-hmm. but they could also be... Expensive. Expensive. You got the gifts. You got the hotel stay. You got the babysitter. Plus, you got to pick a little something up for the wedding. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Hey. Have a good time there. Sure. You get a little pricey. You know what I'm talking about, T-Bone? Indochino will give you the perfect look at an awesome price. Customize every detail of your suit, shirt, dinner jacket, and more for an outfit you'll love to wear over and over and over again. Yeah, gang. Uh, if you're a bigger, bigger guy like us, uh, uh, you can't buy off the, buying off the rack. You you look like you're you belong in a in a, in a goddamn cedar box if Jammed you catch my up. drift. You look like you belong in the obituaries. It's a bad look, but they they tailor it for, for your your big shoulders. If you got a big belly, if you got a set of man boobs, whatever it is, Custom. they they take care of you. Indochino even has tuxedos starting at just five hundred and seventy nine dollars. That's of, good. I know. Instead of renting a fucking mediocre suit that for three hundred, I know you can customize your own tux, perfectly fit your body and style to really up your wardrobe game. Check out Indochino's custom fitted shirts and casual wear. You can be killing a game all over the place. There you go. Uh, so it's easy to stay on trend and in style. RSVP knowing you got the perfect look all wedding season, uh, all wedding season long from Indochino. Go to Indochino.com and use code GARBAGE to get 10% off any purchase of $3.99 or more. That's Indochino, I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O.com. Promo code GARBAGE. Indochino.com, code GARBAGE. Do it, gang. Yeah, close some ass out there, kids. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about ExpressVPN. Ooh, you mean someone who's got your goddamn back in this data this data world? Let's talk about closing the blinds when you're doing your business. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, gang? Netflix has tens of thousands of shows, mm-hmm. but depending on your location, sure. can you get them? Can you this? Can you that? This is blacked out. This is not blacked out. In 2023, we're not in our blockbuster anymore, gang. It shows the movies available only in your city, and who needs that? Do yourself a favor. ExpressVPN let you do just whatever you want to do with 100 different server locations. You can access thousands of new shows. Uh, yeah, for sure. I was uh, I never really thought it was important. And then they gave us they gave us a hookup. I got it. And it's not even for like, I don't want the government to know what I'm doing, which is good. They shouldn't know what you're doing, what you're perusing. It's also 
it blocks stuff of selling your data, sure. all these advertisers, who's getting what, buying this, selling that. Nah, not with ExpressVPN. Uh-uh. They got your back, baby. Steel trap, baby. Uh, it's compatible on all your devices, so you can watch all your favorite shows on your phone, laptop, tablet, smart TV, surf, turf, whatever you want, baby. With blazing fast speed, you can stream with zero buffering, and ExpressVPN even encrypts your data so you can browse the web securely, baby. That's what it's all about. So be smart. Stop paying full price for streaming service and, and only getting access to a fraction of their content. Get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash garbage. Don't forget to use our link at expressvpn.com slash garbage to get an extra three months free of ExpressVPN. That's Who don't right. need some free ExpressVPN? There you go. Expressvpn.com slash garbage. Gang, do it. Now back to the gosh darn show. Back to the show. I didn't tell you that. I don't think so. Yeah, it was the same. Was It wasn't even that much more than whatever the other one was. Which I don't know what that means, but still. Sure. Whenever I've been in a, a convertible, I always feel like, oh, this flips. We're just smushed. Well, technically, no. The windshield, like. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but dude. Also, but also, like, I mean, how often are cars flipping? It's not like you've been in five cars that, that have flipped. I drive like the wind, baby. No, you you are the worst driver in the world. That, that has to have been a question. Have what? you or anyone in your family been inverted yeah. in their car? <laughs> sure, man. I remember one time where I was on 95, and did you ever just, like, see something? I'm like, I've, been, I've driven a lot. Mm-hmm. And this car was maybe 15 feet in the air hanging in a tree. And oh. the guy's like, I'm all right. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? How did that happen? What? He was in the car? Yeah. It's like, it was, like, stuck. You know, did you ever see, like, you, like. Like jackass, they're like jumping the tree. Like you know, they don't get all the way down because like all yeah. the branches support. Dude, this dude was just the wheels are spinning. Jesus. Yeah, I'm like, what? what would you hit a kick kicker or something? What's going on here? That when cars are on fire, how does that happen? They fucking they they explode. It's like, are you grilling in the car? There's what? a couple of spots on the Jersey Turnpike where I don't. Yeah, dude, it looks like it looks like Burning Man was there. Yeah, dude, clean that the <laughs> fuck up, will you? It's not good. Somebody get that Mister Clean thing out there. You can see the flesh on the side of the road. Dude, I don't need to drive by that shit. <laughs> That's crazy. I just saw it today. They used to do a really good job on the Jersey Turnpike. Now it's all jammed up. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of construction. There's a lot of shit like that. Get a crew out there. I don't want to fucking drive by that shit and think about that poor son of a bitch. <laughs> well, I'm stuck in my car. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I can't get out of my car. Can't get out of my convertible. Is it a parallel parking? You're paralyzed parking. <laughs> Man, it sucked. And dude, I felt like a, I felt like a fucking uh, like a Star Wars toy inside the uh, X-wing. Like my legs were just completely straight like that. Dude, it sucked. Right down there on the floor, having to move it all the way down, get it in there. Plus, with the valet at the hotel, I'm taking like 10 minutes to get in the car. It's fucking embarrassing. I thought I told you that. Your girl must have been slipping out of her seat, right? A real hunk like you. (laughs) Babe, babe, put it in. Put it in park. Ah, Put it in. (laughs) Jesus. (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) Shit. Move that guy. The shifter's under my leg. The shifter's under my leg. (laughs) Uh, I will say that Porsche's pretty classy. I think the trashiest convertible of all time is the Miata. I don't know. Yeah. It took a lot of heat when it came out. I remember when those things dropped. For about two weeks, they were cool, and then everybody turned on them. I don't think like they were hyenas. Ever cool. I yeah, don't. for about two weeks, people thought they were cool. And then, I don't know, a lot of art teachers started buying them. <laughs> Stuff like that. How much? Let's see what we can get a Miata for. Uh, new one? Yeah, I don't. They're not making them new. Yeah. What? what? <laughs> this is this guy just. They got it? they got 2023 at Mazda Miatas. Really? No way. Yes. What's a sticker on it? Uh, no give way. Me one sec. I'll tell you now. What do they look like? They kind of look like Porsches. Mazda Miata. No kidding. They must have brought them back. They were. They haven't been going full tilt since the 90s. Starting at twenty eight thousand dollars. Ooh. Or 0.9% APR. They kind of do look like Porsches. Let me see. He's not wrong. The long hair ain't lying, folks. It's much better than the old ones. I'll tell you that much. We'll get a pick up there. Let me let me take a little peek I'm at trying, it. I'm trying, bud. I'm trying. Yeah, but I feel like every, everybody they modeled around this car was real short in real life. All the angles are like for yeah, real that's, low. That's, yeah. not a, that's not a big guy car. Uh, I wouldn't say it looks like a Porsche. It looks like one of those uh, BMWs. Yeah, a little bit. I'm saying it don't look like a Miata that you know. 
It don't look no. like the, it's small. Yeah. It don't look like the That's for unsuccessful dentists to drive around in, I think. For divorced, unsuccessful dentists. The mid range practice? Yes. Man, imagine rolling. Or maybe attached to the house. Yeah. Or he works at another dentist's office. Oh, yeah, he doesn't doctor. have his own spot. Yeah, this is Dr. So and so. He's yeah. new. Yeah. He was working out in Hershey for a little while. That's where he's doing his open mics where he cut his <laughs> cut his teeth. Uh yeah, that's not a that's not a real wow call. You can't pull up in a Miata. No. You'd be you'll catch some fucking shit for sure. Uh, all right, let's see here. This one's from James. $10 Long Island trash here. Are you garbage if towards the end of your parents' marriage, your dad took over your twin, bre- be- your twin bed and you had to sleep on the floor? Damn. Oh, my God. That is a tough look. That was like our buddy Brendan Sagalow. That's very Sagalow-esque, yeah. yeah. Shout out to B. Sags. I mean, at some point. He had to move into the den. What dad we- took his room. What? Economically. Why make it worse on everybody? Listen, it's not working out. Let's keep it in the family. We're not fighting. Whatever. Uh, I guess. I don't know. If you only have a two bedroom. Hey, the old man's going to be staying with you. Old- it's probably the best time of his life. I think, you know, I, as a dad, I think you got to get the couch, no? Sure. Kind of put up a little curtain and be like, this is my house. This is my room hey, over here. One side, Junior, me and your mom are beefing. Yes. <laughs> Something. Kick your kid out on a goddamn floor. He's got That's school in the morning. <laughs> the fuck? He's trying to get laid. He's trying, he's trying to fucking, you know. He's bringing the, chicks back. He's trying to get to second base with a broad and fucking. He's got no confidence. He's sleeping on the floor. Yeah, it's pretty trashy, man. Oh, I'm so glad that didn't happen with I me. Mean, I'm so glad it was a easy out. <sighs> they had a little extra cash. Sure. Well, not really. We went to, he went to a motel. Sure. So it wasn't like. Yeah, it was not. The, I mean, we, not he, like Tony Soprano. I'm going to be at the Waldorf for whatever yeah. the fuck you want. The Plaza. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I'd be getting divorced too if I could do that. Fucking go stay at the Plaza for an indefinite time. Get hookers in there. <laughs> Sill and Pauly and, Walnuts coming by. And, yeah, what and, the fuck? And some chicks. You know. <clears throat> yeah. Eating those big Toblerones. Always comes back to you. you get, I just watched the I episode. I get divorced for chocolate. I just Unless I get the... my own Toblerones in a hotel room. You ain't got to tell me nothing. I just watched the episode. Uh, all right, let's see. This is from David, $10 Bozo. Is it garbage to apply sun spray sunscreen in the house before going out? It's funny. I didn't think so, but in Indy, Pat did it. Yeah, well, you guys all were going outside, and I was like, "Oh fuck!" And then I did it, and then I almost broke my neck. I know, man. You do it on the wrong. You do it on a cheap wood floor. You're going down. Yeah. Hey, that's a fucking. That's like quicksand for the. If somebody doesn't know. Yeah. And they they make a pivot on it. Yeah, I'll tell you what. That stuff works pretty good. Sure. And you know, but I can't remember. It was either you or new guy Luke. One of you was like, "I was like, get my neck," and you were fucking right up on it. You got to step back with that. And spray nice. That was me. And let me ask you something. Did your neck burn? No, but I had Luke, I had Luke redo it. I don't want to have spots all over me. No, you rub it in. You, you rub it in. You don't rub it in. Yes, you do. Why am I rubbing it in when it's got the spray? I'll rub the... To make sure it's evenly done. It is evenly done. You do it nice with the spray. No, that's how you miss things. I'm telling you. Okay. I'm telling you. Check the instructions. It probably doesn't say rub it in. Well, I all I did was spray, and I didn't get burned once out there. I rubbed. Got I didn't a nice get burned color. Once, huh? I rubbed it. I didn't get burnt once. Hmm. Well, and it's and it recommends, which is something I've never done my entire life until this trip. Was you're supposed to apply it in the shade and wait like 15 minutes. Yeah, that's nuts. Uh, who's doing that? No. Yeah, God, you're you're jammed shit. up. Not sitting under the fucking tree for 15 minutes. That's just... the same bullshit as don't eat a half hour before you go into the water. Mm-hmm. Which can I Which say means this? You've never been in a pool, huh? <laughs> Which means you've never been in a pool. <laughs> there hasn't been a half hour since you've eaten. Oh, we got it. Oh, I don't think you did. I I know when you don't get a joke, and I see you doing the math in your head. Um, I, this might be more hard feelings, but so you know we're going down to shore. Sure, right? We're well, going down the shore. Hold on, not to cut you off. I apologize, but there is a big down the shore. Most houses have a no sunscreen in a house rule. For that reason, oh, do it in the really? garage. Do you do that? You, you do that shit at Denise's house down there in North Wildwood. She'll lose it. Fucking bounced. That guy, that guy ain't allowed back. No kidding. Yeah, maybe a couple passive aggressive marks. What's well, all slippery on this floor? And you're fucking. Mum's the word. <laughs> She's fucking digging at you. But anyway, we're going down there. We're going down to Wildwood. 
Yes. In the middle of the summer. Um, there's been, unless I'm crazy, it seems like there's something really going on in the ocean lately. There's been a Don't lot of fucking start this and then you're never going to go in the ocean. Don't be that guy. I mean, dude, the poor fucking Russian guy in fucking Egypt. That dude. was crazy. In Egypt? What the fuck? I, what's got to what's that got to do with North Wildwood? The kid, and the, kid, the, the kid that jumped off the, the, the cruise ship. And then there was a video. Are the you other, jumping off a cruise ship anytime there, soon? There was a video. Then, then there was the kayaker in Hawaii where a tiger shark just came right up to it and tried to take a bite out of him. And then for some reason, I saw a video yesterday. There was all these dolphins trying to beach themselves. Like a whole fucking bunch of them. Somebody was probably grilling some cheese dogs. <laughs> What a miss out. <laughs> He's cooking? <laughs> yeah. He He's fucking beaching them. It seems there's something. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, you named Egypt the bah- a guy who jumped off a boat well, I think that's, and Hawaii. I think that shows that it's all over. I, that would be like me if I was like, if I was like a volcano went off 100 years ago. Like, if you just look at all the bad things that yeah. are happening constantly, they're always bad How stuff. many people went in the water and didn't get bit this week? I don't know. Couple hundred milli. I don't know. For sure. It seems a little sca- a little fishy. All right. No I got, pun intended. I got a line on proper spray suntan usage. Hit me. You got to rub it in. One way to ensure staying protected is spray, spray close to the skin to ensure accurate coverage with the spray sunscreen. I highly recommend holding the nozzle to your skin and spraying thoroughly. Boom. I was helping you out. Nozzle to the skin. Yeah. Fucking burn and turn, baby. <laughs> Freeze it up. Uh, I like that stuff. Yeah, but you can't do that shit in the house. That is that is a no fly because it's just in the air. It's on the ground. It's on the table. It's on the chair. Sure, you're you're walking through it. The dog's licking it. Gets on the lunch meat. Yeah, although it does kind of taste good in a weird way. Yeah, okay. like lip gloss. And it highly recommends you apply it outdoors to avoid inhaling any of the particles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's half the fun. The uh, the the uh, accelerants or whatever they use. That's not good for you. Which is uh, weird because they slow your brain down. Take my chance with this. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from Foley Guacamole. $10 homie. Are you nice. garbage if you have had a Coors Light in a hospital room? <laughs> you shouldn't be drinking in a hospital at all. Let alone, I don't care what kind of brain. Uh, somebody had a baby celebrating. Or somebody's on their way out. You want to have a, a quick l- pop a with last them? toast? Mm-hmm. Okay. This made it seem like he's killing time. He didn't give an event like, hey, it was, you know, my pop up was on his way out and we all shotgunned the beer before he fucking before he fucking entered Sandman. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was picturing a white styrofoam coffee cup. Yeah, I was picturing like chill. The nurse is coming. You know what I mean? Jesus. What does that say about us, dude? Yeah, that's pretty trashy. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that ain't great. That and uh, you always hear stories of like someone sneaking a stripper in or a hooker for like their. Somebody just their did uncle that. on the way out or something yeah, like that. Yeah, somebody just did that. Which I don't. No, I'm not thinking about that. I don't want some fucking skank in there. Why not? I want fucking father so and so. Let me know that I'm gonna that day. I'm not gonna get jammed up letting, when I get up there. Letting you know you better bring your sunscreen because you're going to hell. <laughs> now keep that real close to the skin, fat boy. While you're burning for eternity, you're gonna want to reapply. Yeah, I want everybody in there. The Monsignor nuns, the whole nine yards. Give me something. I'm not thinking about getting my noodle wet. They're like a bad accountant. Like I can't clean all this up. <laughs> what, are you crazy? You should have came to me. You should have at least filed. <laughs> That's half the problem. Jesus. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm not thinking about that shit. How do you know? Sitting there with a chubby. No. Meanwhile, you got a priest fucking eyeing you up. All right. You're trying, trying to fucking snap one off real quick. <laughs> no, you'd be all shriveled up. You don't know. I I I know how fear I works in me. What? I know how I know when I'm afraid I'm not. But you've never truly been afraid for your life. Sure, I have. No, you're afraid you left the stove on or, you know, you called somebody by accident. Did I? (laughs) Either way, a 48 minute voicemail. from I don't want some chick from fucking Delilah's in there. I think I, want the I think you're looking there. at this. That's why I think you're looking at this very narrow minded. I don't want it either, but I'm saying I can see a world where if I'm like, hey, I'm on my way out. It's been a while. Yeah. Let me clean the pipes. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> At least watch. Show up to heaven with my head on straight. Yeah, yeah, Not acting like a fool as soon as I get there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Hitting on every broad in line. <laughs> <laughs> Maryland, how you doing? <laughs> Uh, God, here comes Kippy. <laughs> <laughs> like a rabid dog running around, <laughs> running around St. Peter's. Um, all right. Uh, this one's from Xavier. Is it garbage if the barbecue place in your town replaced the old funeral home? Ooh. I don't think I could eat there, man. No. I, I, I'm i not like a big, I guess I kind of am a big heebie-jeebies guy, but that's just weird to nah, me. Nah, can't do it. The ribs are to die for. Yeah. <laughs> And then also, like, they, you think they got the same smoker, the same broiler or whatever? Oh, that they cook the people in? Jeez. I don't know. <laughs> Those things get hot, though. It's the same gas Think about pipes. that sear. <laughs> There's no way they're gutting a hole. Those things are heavy. Um, There is a... I couldn't. I couldn't. I've talked to you guys about it this. It would have to... I couldn't. Yeah, no, absolutely. There's, there's an old Chinese place in... China, my, my hometown. Mm -hmm. That was like the, It was like a. It was a like a sit down Chinese spot, which I've always said are the best. Rolling in there on a Friday night, oh, man, real classy place, mm -hmm. real nice. Closed down. They're turning into like some kind of elementary school. Whoa, get the fuck like, out of here! One of those that. like charter type things, something private, like that. Not private yeah. school, but like yeah, those like in, ex, in, ex, auxiliary Even that or whatever the fuck they are. The funeral home. Into a barbecue joint? That's nuts. I don't even like going to something that used to be a Wawa. No. You know what I mean? No. I don't like that or something that used to be a bank or something. I'm like, I this was a Wendy's and now it's a bank. That, like, that was, there used to be a one by Astor Place. That was clearly a Wendy's and now it's a Chase Bank. Yeah. I'm in there salivating trying to fucking mm -mm. trying to get my check cleared. No, nah, I don't like it. I don't like it. They, they tried to turn a Burger King into, into a uh, dry cleaners. That didn't work. <laughs> I guess the drive throughs there, though. That's probably pretty good. Who does drive through dry cleaning? Ours had it growing up. Really? Yeah. You'd pass it through the window. Wouldn't everything get wrinkled getting it through the window? I think they would open up your back door. Like, if it was hanging on the back, like, hanging on the hook, you pull up to a window, and there was, like, a sliding glass door. Really? Yeah. Maybe there was only this one. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. It wasn't, it wasn't like a drive through window. It was a whole thing. Because that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was a sliding glass door. And they would just open your back door and put it on the hook. Yeah. That's or, like, service. take it off the hook. They open up the door. You're there. They fucking pull it off. They go, okay, what do you got, three suits? Okay, whatever, whatever. Here's your ticket. You're gone. That's all Come right. back, pick it up. Open up the back door. Hang it up there. Have a nice day. Zip, zap, zoop. That's all right. Is that not a thing? No, I've never heard of anything like that in my life. Really? And we're big dry cleaning people. Shout out to Earls. He was at the cutting edge of it. Wow. Did you hear that? <laughs> and you're sitting there in silence after hearing this goddamn That's idea. fucking real good. But then my sister worked at- Because the biggest pain in the ass is getting it on that hook in the back seat. Sure. Jam you up. That's like one of those CIA sky hook drops where they scoop the guy off the uh, ground. Oh, yeah. yeah, like they did in Batman Begins. Yup. I keep getting those uh, TikToks or Instagram videos of the train, the delivery system, the mail, the mailman on the train. Do you ever see that? Mm -mm. And like remote towns or whatever, like they don't stop the train, but there's a mailman on the train who delivers to each town. And they have, there's like a big pole that they got to hook the outgoing mail. Like they all, the town gathers their mail. And puts it in a like one of those like canvas bags mm -hmm. that's like locked and it's hanging on a thing and a guy comes up with a hook, scoops it, and leaves the same like leaves one. He's got to he's got to hook the bag of the incoming mail and grab the outgoing mail. Really? And I am all about it because I like the videos. It is of, it is mail delivery at its highest form. I like the videos of the boats coming by the dock and they have some greenhorn jump yes, off. Yes, right very down the similar. Dock. Grab the man who's got to get back on. Sometimes he don't make it. Yeah, it's, pretty funny. it's a good time. Gotta give then the show. sharks got him. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a, I'm a big fan of that too. Yeah. Man, that's that's got to be exhilarating. That's got to be. You ever see the guys getting on the uh, on the ships in like the An A Antarctic where they're like on ice and the ship comes by and they and they and they get on and off real quick. I don't Fuck think so. That. But as a kid who grew up on boats in you know like 
fucking pontoon boats or small crab boats or fishing boats in Wildwood and like the Poconos. Yeah, I'm talking about oil tankers in Antarctic. I yeah, I understand. Not you catch. Hey, lose the dude guy who's never been on a boat before. Not you catching sunnies. Down I know. In the inlet. I'm 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 relating to the story that you just told. Go ahead, you swashbuckler. <laughs> Tell us the tales of the no, seas. No, as a young kid, that was the coolest <laughs> thing. You felt like you were a re- one of those guys when mm. you're pulling up to the dock and you're like. I'm gonna. I get to jump off or grab the thing. Like, can you do that? Can you jump off and and do like the the lasso around the uh, around the? I mean, you don't lasso. Well, if you're jump off, you don't have to throw it. You just jump off with it and fucking tie it up. Yeah, fucking. My you. knots aren't good, but I'll get it on there. And then someone had to come take you know redouble knot it. I was I was putting a Windsor knot on it, <laughs> taking them to prom. <laughs> Working the forehead bandit. Yeah. Um, but that was exhilarating as a kid of like, all right, I'm going to, and I never like when I got to do it where they'd be like, Kevin, you, it's like the fucking whole world's on your shoulder. Like you're going to sink if you don't fucking get up there and get the bumper out. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my dumb ass almost got hit by a propeller one time. Ooh, uh, Jesus. We, we weren't docking, but we were, we, I, we were, they were slowing down for the kids to jump off. I must've been like 11 and my dumb ass jumped straight off the front of the boat and then got instantly run over by the what? boat, dude. Jesus Christ, really? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh. It was all good. Life jackets. Scoop me right out the side. Chilling. Uh, that gives me anxiety. We were in uh, we were in Lake Wall. I wouldn't get in until it was completely turned off. Yeah, because you're no fun. If that propeller catches you, you're monkey meat, bro. I hit, I hit the service like, my bad, dude. My buddy's dad was like, holy shit. Yeah. Uh, in Lake Wall and Paul Pack, the prop fell, the, the prop fell off our boat, like the fucking hinge, like the bobby pin hinge or whatever, like broke or something. So then we're fucking, we're, we're rudderless. Dead in the water. We got nothing. But luckily it happened at the dock. I think they might've been fixing it or changing it or something. And it happened at the dock. We went down there and got it. I mean, we did. That was our job the whole weekend. That was like, we felt like deep sea divers. <laughs> That was like forget fishing, forget Fat a, kids of honor, forget a wave runner, Start forget a Kevin Ryan. forget a bonfire, dude. We were fucking. I was I had like a knife in my mouth. I was, <laughs> I was going down ready to see an octopus. <laughs> I was it was it, man. Fighting a giant squid. Oh, dude, I was. You couldn't see shit too. Fucking trying to open my eyes in a lake. Kevin Ryan in four feet <laughs> under the lake. <laughs> People are just standing next to me. <laughs> Searching with their feet. Wow, that was big, too. Searching with your feet. Not a lake? What? In a lake? Yeah. Never. Not, I mean, yeah, I don't. My piggies aren't touching that muck. Sure. I, I don't uh, even like the beach with the sand. You don't and... like anything fun. A lake? Drugs in a room. Ugh. Yeah, I'm saying it's not ideal, but it happens. Drugs in a room. It happens. You gotta you get icky toes when you're out there having a good time. <sighs> No, I couldn't agree with Foley Moore, dude. Good. Yeah, I'm not saying like I, don't, I wasn't like reveling in it, but it happens. Man, we my cousins lived out. I think it might have been rocks too at the shore. My cousin lived out at Serene Lakes, California, which was a beautiful lake. But would you say it's serene? It was very serene near Lake Tahoe, and we were out there swimming one time, and you swam through like a patch of like lake grass. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's not great. Dude, it was like Medusa was mm-hmm. fucking coming at you from the depths. Yeah. No bueno. You just really got to go. I've just got to get through this. Because you start panicking, you start panicking more, and then oh, more stuff touches you. God. You just got to go. I'm just trudging through Fuck this. Fuck that. Freak me out. Yeah. First time I went to a Costco was out there, too. Biggest muffins i ever seen in my life. You know those big four packs of muffins they give you at Costco? No, never was never a Costco guy. We were a Sam's Club er, for a same sh- thing short term. But I mean, same I might have been there two or three times. Sure, that sure. was like that was like getting into fucking the White House for us. We like I had to call my stepdad who had the thing. I'll take you. Maybe. Oh yeah, it Patty, was- Patty, Patty, Patty uh, used her uh, used false credentials for for I think a couple of years at Costco and Sam's Clubs and uh-huh. stuff like that. Yeah. She said they were the fake mustache. Anybody ask, my name's Colleen. Hola. Como estas? <laughs> Donde esta la muffins? Big sombrero on. Can <laughs> <laughs> you point me in the way of the, the refried beans, please? Uh, speaking of, this is a, from Amanda. What's the trashiest class trip you fellows ever been on? Mine was fourth grade. We went to Wegmans. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Which a for grocery the, store? If you're not aware, Wegmans is a fancy grocery store, though. Yo, kids, get in here. I got a big order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just some teacher who was lazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Doing yard work at her summer house. That's, uh, that ain't, that's a, I mean, what do you do? Maybe, I guess you got to go for like, you got to be learning. But the other thing was they were always learning about something. You know what I mean? You go to I the, wasn't in the AP classes, I can tell you that. No. I think that was taking taking a tour of the loading dock. <laughs> Learning to be a single man in his mid thirties. <laughs> yeah. He's fucking selling weed out of the deli. <laughs> and this is where I rip heaters on my break. <laughs> you one of you kids got a light? Uh <laughs> yeah. I I remember my boy worked for a long time. Uh, in the meat department at a at an Acme. Okay. Uh, and quality quality operation. Quality operation. Uh, it was before he found his career. You know, before he found his career or whatever. Uh, and he was working there, and he was like, "Dude, it it made it. It seemed real nice because he's like, we go every day meat department. They had a crock pot there. Ooh. So he goes, we'd go in. If I was working like an eight, nine hour shift or whatever. I'm listening. Beginning of the shift to crank up the crock pot, whatever they had, you know, whatever was laying around. Sure. Uh, this filet got stepped on or whatever. Chop that up. Fucking throw it in. Come three, four, five hours later, they're all back there just fucking what a going, cup. going to town. Man. And I was like, I genuinely envy you. That That's is amazing. All time work. Make work better move. Yeah, sure. A yes. little, little work side hustle. Uh huh. That's sure. huge. That and our our uh, that and who the fuck? I think it was Big Bry from Jersey. Our boy Big Bry from Jersey. Yep. Shout out. Which to I've him. seen in other times. Microwave on the work on truck. the work truck. You nuke whatever yeah. you want. Your work. He's a he, you know he works construction, so he's out there on the roads and shit like that. Nuke it up. And I was like, God, it's I've seen that time. one or two other times. Very smart. You know there's some guy in some office job in, office job in the middle of Ohio with a big green egg on the roof, dude. Smoking meats while, oh, he's, yeah, out, yeah, yeah, while yeah. he's in the cubicle. <laughs> sure. I'm going to um, take a phone call. I'll be right back. Anytime working at a restaurant that did like a good family meal was always fucking awesome. And it was also awesome every once in a while, like if it was slow and it was a little bit later in the shift on like a Thursday night. The boys in the kitchen would throw something together. Sure. Something off the menu. At the Geno's East I work at in Chicago, every now and again they bust out some menudo that would knock your socks off, dude. Yeah, it's all right. What's menudo? It's like a Mexican Popular soup. 80s band. Yes. That's, that's Ricky Martin. Wasn't he in menudo? <laughs> uh, I think he was, right? That was him. Ricky Martin was in menudo, yeah. Uh, I remember these five. Dude, Giuseppe's. I worked at Giuseppe's as a bus boy, and we would get Two slices of pizza or a salad and a bowl of spaghetti or something. Spaghetti. It was what, you know, wasn't my cup of tea. I was more of a spaghetti. Sp yeah, but it was just not love pizza place. Spaghetti. You don't say. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know. You've, it's, it's very always, well documented. It's you perfectly like... al dente in the sauce. It's just the same sauce from the pizza. So it has a little zest to it. Yeah, no, it just wasn't as good. I uh, Yeah, it's fine. It was fine. It was I'm not shitting You're not on really a spaghetti guy. Nah, I gotta be light on my feet. I'm working. I'm You're fucking... not a pasta guy. I am for sure. Are you? Yeah, but just like generic pasta. I don't know. It's just like yeah. Okay. Let me get a couple of fucking sleazies out the door and a wild cherry Pepsi. What the fuck are we talking about here? Okay. I'm a fucking fat ten year old. All right. I'm, I'm just sitting I'm, there. I'm the same way. Sign says pizza, dude. Yeah. Give me the. I'm not saying. I'm sure you're very well. Yes, I, I'm sure there's pasta. It's good. I'm a fucking slice man through and through. Okay. I'm sure, you um, skipped the salad, Porky. Yeah, never once did I get it. I was like, "Get the fuck out of here!" Pizzeria salad, yikes! I, I used to make them. They were like the house salad. Like, hey, we need three house salads for whatever. And I was my job. And I'm like, dude, I don't need I, dude, iceberg and one olive. Yeah, that's what it was. That like the fucking two shoestring <laughs> fucking pieces of carrot or whatever. <laughs> um, man, those two slices of pizza. I still think of like they were the after a hard shift, you sit down, all these fucking, all these fucking, <laughs> these broads are counting their tip money, cranking heaters in the back. Ah, oh, you couldn't tell me shit. <laughs> Two big triangle slices. Fucking good. A little bit of oregano, maybe some Parmesan Sitting cheese. Sitting on a bus pad. Fucking put me out, dude. It was great. <laughs> some of my best slices in the world were there. Perfect. They've been sitting around for a little while. They throwed them. I'll do my two. 
You live quite the life, Kippy. I'll tell you that. Uh-huh. You're like a regular Jay Peterman. <laughs> 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 quite the tales, my friend. Yeah, fat <laughs> kids like pizza. You know, I don't know what to tell you. Um... <laughs> All right, let's see. This one's from Pure Garbaggio, uh, $10 Hamey. Is it garbage to have a hot tub on the ground floor of your split-level home on the carpeted floor? Whoa. I've seen this Depends one other time. how much Coke you're moving a week. Yeah. <laughs> Are we talking kilos? Yeah, you got to be moving some heavy weight. Well, there's... This is... I've seen this one time before. Living room. Ground floor. This was basement. It was one of those, like, the house was built on a hill, so the whole back of the house was exposed. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, you could walk out the basement. But the- this guy, I'm imagining, it's it's like an in-ground pool. It's not on the floor. It's in the floor. No. This That's is- what this guy's talking about. No, this is a hot tub on the ground floor. So it's a hot tub on the first floor of the house. Okay. Hot- this not is my in, thing. Not in the floor. Hot- if it's no. in the floor, I think that's a little classier. Hot tubs don't belong inside. No. Jacuzzis do. Hot tubs belong outside. Jacuzzis? Yeah. What's the difference? Yeah, a, hot tub, a hot tub stays full. You don't fill a hot tub. Okay. You fill a jacuzzi. No? You mean like a jacuzzi tub? Yeah, like but they have... Yeah, your mom probably has like what... Used to, yeah. Yeah, because when I redid all those houses, all the broads all got those the tubs. big jacuzzis. Yeah. That was the first time I saw a shower and a bathtub separate. When my aunts and my aunt and uncle redid their bathroom, uh-huh. blew me away. Didn't know where to pee, huh? Not nah, all. <laughs> the whole neighborhood. Where do I go? Whole neighborhood was over there. Sure. What do you got, T-Bone? Can I blow your mind? Sure. Okay. Hot tub is the name we use to describe a tub filled with hot water for people to relax in. Jacuzzi is a brand. Oh no, I know that. I didn't know that. Really? Yeah. yeah. Jacuzzi. It, it's Jacuzzi's, like Kleenex tissue. Yeah. Like Jacuzzi is a brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For no sure. shit. But a hot tub in the house. So you're wrong. No, not at all. Yeah. Why? Is jacuzzi only inside? You said a hot tub was for outside. Jacuzzi was for inside. Here's my, this is my rule I'm saying. I don't think you should just have a hot tub full with water with that lid on it constantly cooking in your house, which was what my friend used to have, which was insane. Okay. It sounds like you're, it's a, Fog up the windows. Yeah, it's, it smells like the fucking YMCA in there. Sure. That's what I'm Kinda saying. I like that smell. You should, yeah, not to live in. You should drain. <laughs> Anything you're doing in the house should be drained. You got to fill it back up. Yeah, that's what you should do. There shouldn't be chlorine in your house, right? Can you, will you give me that? I'll give you that. There shouldn't, you shouldn't have a body of water with chemicals constantly 102 degrees in your house. That's insane to me. I'll give you that. That belongs outdoors. Okay. Jacuzzi, huh? Yeah. Jacuzzi's a brand name. All, all all jacuzzis are hot tubs, but not all hot tubs are jacuzzis, dude. There you go. There you go. That's pretty good. Look at this. We're learning today. Yeah, we really are. Uh, all right. Yes, that's trash. <laughs> the mold in the carpet alone. Yeah, the smell. From the steam, man. God damn. Oh, that house has a drop ceiling for sure. Sure. And it is brown, dude. Oh, yeah. A couple of water, water stains on there. And also, wouldn't you want it outside? I guess the temperature, like... Because you would want it to be cooler, so I guess it's not really It would have to be in some type of bathroom setting. In the living room. That's what I'm saying. My buddy had it in the basement. I blew my mind. I was like, what are you guys shooting porn in here? This is fucking nuts. Was it a finished basement? Yeah. Was there a... There was a computer right next to it. Was there a uh, sliding glass door to get outside down there? Yeah, but not right there. Not near it. On the other side. Huh. What yeah. about a cold plunge indoors in a basement? Of course. It's a way to go. Yeah, I'll give you that. I'd give you that. Love to have that. That's a little different. No chlorine, again. And no steam. And functional. Ooh. Very true. Huh. Yeah, I don't... A body of water in the house that's just constantly full. I want to get one for the roof, but I don't know if it'll hold. Mm-hmm. That'd be a jam up. <laughs> you end up on the fifth floor? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm I'm Henry. I live upstairs. <laughs> Is this your girl? <laughs> How long he's been together? What are you watching, John Wick too? Right, Is that, that pasta from a pizza place? <laughs> yeah, all right, gentlemen. Uh, all right, this one's from Sean. Uh, Is it garbage to have a negative balance on Cash App? My buddy has a negative three hundred dollar balance. How do you get that? It sounds like you got away with something. Yeah, I've been jam. I think because things process. If you have, if you're using it as a payment, 
and I'm sure some sort of bank. There's some sort of delay these dirtbags are figuring out. Uh huh. As one who used to do it, sure. You know, I know my way around a banking day. Sure. Processing. There's got to be something that's hooked up to that that automatically chart or something. I used to roll that die. Oh, it's one of my favorite things. You want to live a little? TD Bank. Still got the Pinkertons looking for me for that one. <laughs> Fucking, I should be on the 310 yeah. to Yuma. Wells Fargo coming after you. <laughs> you can buy stocks on Cash App. Really? Yeah, which if you got a Cash App portfolio, that thing is tanking, dude. <laughs> that's no, where, you, that's where you're playing the market, T-Bone? Got it all in Mountain Dew. I got one one hundredth of a share of Pizza Hut. <laughs> uh, I'm making decisions in the boardroom. <laughs> and the bedroom. They're all pushing that... Uh, the flipped over pizza now. The uh-huh. what's it called? Pizzone? Need kinda. It's a calzone est type. Yeah, thing. but it's crispy. It's like it's it's a, it's like a slice flipped over. They're all pushing it. I think uh Papa John's kicked it off first. The Papadilla. Papadilla. Whoa. Yeah. I gotta get eyes on that. Once Shaq got in there, he really started making some changes. Hey, everything he should be on Shark Tank. Everything he touches. I think he has been. Gold. Has he? Uh I know Charles Barkley has. What's he doing? My dude's caked up from the waist up. That yeah? Man. Charles Barkley? That's all Shaq money from TNT. What's Charles investing in? Dude, those dudes are like crazy. I know. Shaq owns Forever 21, I heard. I Dude, Shaq kills it. Uh, Shaq has never been on Shark Tank, but he has been in a shark cage on Shark Week. Ooh. it's close enough. <laughs> I mean, that counts. That shark was, was that, in, that shark was shitting in his pants. I'll <laughs> tell you that. Was that in Egypt? Where was that? Um. All right. Let's do. Uh. Let's do one more here. Then we got a ramper up gang. This one's from Daryl, ten dollar investor. Is it garbage to have people in your family who refer to, who are referred to as big and little instead of senior and junior, such as Big Terry and Little Terry, or Big Jenny and Little Jim? Big Jenny's tough. Big Jenny. Big Jenny will fuck Yikes. you up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have. We have Big Mike and Little Mike. Big Jenny makes a mean hoagie dip, though. I'll tell you that. She does something mm-hmm. that knocks everybody's socks off every Thanksgiving. And I'll she, tell you that. She got right a bit now. of a toot to her. Too. Oh yeah. Oh, use your dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Calling people dickheads. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Calling the kids dickheads. Yeah, shout out, little dickhead. You know who wears a one piece suit? Big Jenny. Oh, Big Jenny can rock the can rock the jumper. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, shout out. Or to some Carhartt overalls. Sure. Uh, yeah, we got Big Mike, Little Mike, and Big Mike. It's like you know, it's like out of a fucking. But you know, Little Mike is a fucking house. Yeah. Big Mike, Little Mike is now Big Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is from Chris. Uh, Philly Bozo here. Shout out to it. Uh, is it garbage to jump in the swimming pool instead of taking a shower after a haircut gets all the hair off you and you get a little exercise in as well? <laughs> uh, y- that's a pro move, though, because I feel like the shower, if you submerge. I need full shower after a haircut. I need full shower. I need hair wash, ears wash, the whole nine yards. Otherwise, I'm itching up and down the block. Plus, you're getting all that goddamn hair in the filter. You don't that think don't Patty's going to come yelling at you for that? You ever, find, you, ever, you ever found a frog in that filter? All the time. Man, I used to scare the <laughs> shit out of you. Open that up, that fucking thing staring at you. <laughs> pair of sunglasses <laughs> on. Oh, fuck. Ripping a heater? Yeah. <laughs> fucking, uh, call my daddy to come get him. <laughs> Just going, your piss tastes weird, buddy. <laughs> get that checked out. <laughs> Frogs in the pool. Shout out to him. <laughs> All right, we got to wrap it up, gang. Gang, we love you to death, and we will see you next week. Peace. Peace.